nothing to fight for now this season. <clears throat> Other than top four, we've got nothing. Out of the both cups, there's been a poor January. We still haven't signed any players either, so then it's not getting any better, but not good. Poor performance. Liverpool absolutely dominated us. It's not like it was even a good game, which is the it's the worst thing, to be fair. All I wanted to watch was a good game. I wanted to see us attack Liverpool, and we just didn't do that. We just sat off them, and Liverpool just managed. Jota is absolutely world-class, man. What a, what a player. And don't forget, Tommy Yasu was twisted inside out by Jota all game. And don't forget, this guy's been one of our best players, and he couldn't live with him. That's just a testament to show how good Diogo Jota is. And again, we went down to 10 men, Parte with an idiotic red card. I have to say fair play to him for playing, because he just landed midday before the game. <clears throat> and he can't have been much fit. He shouldn't have come on, in my opinion. His head was clearly not screwed on. He'd just gone out of the AFCON with Ghana. It was it was clearly not right for him to start for him to not start, but come on. And he looked off the pace. We really struggled in that game and uh, Liverpool deserved to win. Fair play, but I just wanted us to get to a final. That would have meant so much and we just couldn't do it. But Fair play. We didn't deserve anything out of that. Uh, where do we go from here? So we've had a couple of rocky games. Uh, we haven't. I don't think we've won in this month. Yeah, we've got Burnley tomorrow, so hopefully we'll win that. But I think we need to get some freshen up the squad. Get a couple of players in. I know we're looking at Vlahovic. I've heard reports of Arthur from Juventus coming in on a loan. We'll see what happens, but it's all about the window now. We've got around the cut. We've got ten days left, I think. I'm gonna say till the window. Arsenal, please just get some players in. Just sign some players. We are desperate for reinforcements. Just look at this lineup. Is it? Would you say that this lineup, if you had Partey into it? Is that a top four level squad when you've got teams like United, Spurs with actual superstars in their team? Likes of Ronaldo, Fernandez for United, likes of Harry Kane and Human Son for Spurs. Is our team much better than that? I don't think so. But it is a young team, we've got a young manager, and hopefully we can bounce back. It's a learning curve. Liverpool are better than us on the night. And, I mean, they just only got through to the final. That said, it's against the player ratings. Starting off, Ramsdale, one of his poorer games. Didn't do anything wrong, but, I mean, you can't give him more than six, can you? Tommy Ass, I thought, was shocking. I know he's just come back from... Uh, I'm going to give him a pass, though, on this one, because... He just come back from injury. He obviously wasn't match fit, and he's been outstanding this season. But today was not one of his better. Uh, the game was not one of his better days. I'll give him a four, maybe a three. Uh, ben White, I thought was poor. His passing range was off. A lot of balls went out wide and just didn't stick. I'll give him a. I'll give him a four. Gabriel. I think he was average, I'll give him a six, didn't do anything wrong, um, and did, I thought he did quite well. Kieran Tierney tried to bomb forward early on, but it had the stuffing taken out of him, uh, they just nullified him, he was really struggling, uh, he didn't do anything wrong, he didn't play badly, he, was, he tried to get forward, but he didn't really add much, I'll give him a five. Uh, Albert Sambi Lakonga gave the ball away a lot. A lot of his passes were backwards and sideways. I do like Lakonga, but he's not ready to start yet, I don't think. I think he is a great player, though. I think he will be a great player. I rate him highly, but he's not as good as Granite Jackie. He's not as good as Thomas Partey. 
probably I keep him on the bench for another year, although I do like him. And getting someone like Arthur in would really, really add to that competition. And it would just give us a bit more security, you know, in midfield. Uh, Erdegaard was probably one of our better... Oh, yeah, I didn't rate Lekonga. I'll give him a four. He wasn't great. Erdegaard was one of our better players. I'll give him a 6.5. I thought he... Actually, I'll give him a seven. I thought he dictated the play well. He managed to uh, control proceedings as much as he could. Uh, he wasn't bad at all. One of our better players on the night. I'll give him a seven. Smith throw was poor. Didn't get involved. I am going to say this, and I know it's controversial, but I actually think Odegaard's better than Smith throw. I love Smith Rowe, he's a great player, a great young player, but I just think in terms of intelligence and the way he passes the ball, the way he can dictate a game, I think Erdgaard is just a bit ahead. But that's not to say Smith Rowe is bad, and we're lucky to have both of them. Smith Rowe was poor though, he's been fantastic this season, easily one of our best players, but he wasn't brilliant uh, on Thursday night, and he didn't really offer much. I'll give him a 5 though. Uh... On the left, Martinelli, another one of our better players. Tried his best, always enthusiastic, but he needs to he needs to stop doing so much. He needs to just cross the ball. Don't chop and change and it's annoying because it it just doesn't lead to anything. It's all the excitement and the defender might get a block in or it might be a corner. It just uh sometimes but he is so enthusiastic. He's such a good player. And with he's so young as well. He's, he's only going to get better when he when he gets older. I'll give him a 7 though. Saka was quiet. Didn't really do much. Robertson was brilliant up against him. I'll give him a 5. Didn't do anything wrong but wasn't great. Lacazette was poor. Stupid fouls he made. Uh, he, he hit a great free kick, which was superbly saved by uh, Quivin Kelleher. That's a mouthful. But, yeah, Lacazette, his hold-up play was off. He couldn't really influence the game. Give him a four and a half. Uh, who came on? There's been a couple of... Obviously, Partey was one of them. And Katia was the other. I'm not really going to rate him. I mean, Partey was poor. Did a couple of good things, but the red card will ultimately define it. Uh, just we're out, and we're not going to win a trophy this season. Thanks for listening to this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be with you on Sunday night to discuss the Burnley game. Peace.